Hello everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Diling and uh, this is Coco. Today we'll be working on our shoulders. So it's just a quick routine just to help us to loosen up those shoulders. What you will need is probably a belt if you have one. And if you don't have a belt, it's fine to use a long towel as well. So you might want to grab that if you don't have that around you. And if you have a couple of uh, blocks, at least a block nearby, or maybe a thick book nearby, that would be quite helpful too. And if you like to sit on uh, cushions, instead of sitting on the mat, you can also grab your cushions now, just to have it nearby close to you. So I'm going to start off by sitting on a block. You can sit in a simple cross-legged, or if you prefer, um, you can also sit in Vajrasana, so I am going to bend my knees and have my toes pointing towards the back of the room, towards the back of my mat. I want to make sure that I'm able to feel my sit bones on the block or on the mat and able to lift the spine up. So my thigh bones and my shin bones are parallel to each other. So let's get started. We're going to start to just warm up the shoulders a little. So when you inhale, let's start to lift the shoulders all the way up towards your ears. So as if you're going to wear your shoulders as earrings, try not to shorten your neck here. It's just basically just lifting the shoulders up to your ears. And then as exhale, start to just drop the shoulders away from you as if a huge weight is taken off your shoulders. Okay, let's try that again. So inhale, allow the shoulders to go up towards your ears. And as exhale, let the shoulders drop. We try that again. Inhale to find a lift in the shoulders. And then exhale, let the shoulders drop. A couple more. So inhale. And drop. Inhale. And drop. Two more. Inhale. Shoulders all the way up. And drop. One more, inhale, shoulders all the way up, and then exhale to drop. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the shoulders up towards the ears again. And as I exhale, let's squeeze the shoulder blades behind us. So you feel that your shoulders are moving towards the back, now towards the back of your mat, and then shoulders down towards the mat, and then maybe the shoulders coming forward. So it feels like you're drawing two big circles with your shoulders. So we're going to try and coordinate with our breath while we're doing this. So the inhale is to lift the shoulders up and back. As you exhale, start to draw the shoulders forward and up. Okay, so just a couple more rounds where you feel like you're using your two shoulders to draw two big circles just next to the sides of the room. Okay, and let's change direction. So let's move the shoulders all the way towards the back first. And then forward. And then inhale, shoulders up and back. And then forward and down as you exhale. A few more rounds. Inhale, shoulders back and up. And then forward and down. Last one, maybe. And then exhale out completely. And on the next inhale breath, we're going to start to take your arms up towards the ceiling. You may not be able to see my arms extended up overhead, but that's okay. You can keep your arms parallel to each other. As you exhale, let's turn the palms face down towards the mat as you allow your arms to lower down as well. So inhale, you turn your palms face up and then lifting all the way up. And as exhale, let the palms come down and the arms to lower as well. Two more. Inhale as you lift the arms. Try to find a lift in the ribcage as well. So the ribcage is moving away from your hips. And as exhale, turn the palms down and let the sit be so more grounded. Okay, so inhale again, last one. Lifting, lifting, lifting. And then exhale completely. One more big breath. And then exhale out completely. On your next inhale, let's take the arms back up to the ceiling. And we're going to take it into a twist here. You're going to turn towards your right side, where your left arm is coming, just right next to your right thigh. And then your arm behind you, your right arm is going behind you. If you can touch the mat, you touch the mat. If not, just hold on to your own right foot, that's okay. So inhale to pull your chest up. And as exhale, rotate your chest to the right. Try to keep the knees almost at the same level. 
So you're kind of like stabilizing the lower half of your body so that the rotation goes into your spine, into the ribcage area. And next inhale breath, let's start to lift both arms up towards the ceiling again. And as you exhale, let's rotate to your left side. So right arm towards the right outer leg, and then the arm behind you, maybe you can hold the foot or you can touch down towards the mat. Inhale to pull the chest up. And then as you exhale, twisting towards the left side of the room. And let's try that again. So inhale, arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, twisting to your right. So one breath, one movement. Inhale, arms back up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, twisting to your left. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale to your right. Inhale, arms to lift. And then exhale to your left. Let's make this a last round. Inhale, arms to lift. And then exhale to your right. Last side, inhale, arms to lift. And exhale to your left. And then let's come back to the center. Inhale, arms back up. And then let's exhale. Let's slowly release the arms in front of you. So let's come up to your hands and your knees. So if you're sitting on a block, let's take the block away from you and bring it to the side. Let's cross the ankles behind you and let's start to sit down onto the mat. Let's stretch our legs up forward so you can feel like you're patting up back of your knees and just loosening up the ankles. Your ankles were causing you a slight discomfort earlier. Okay? And then once you've patted it out, let's go to Gomukhasana. So it'd be useful to have a long towel or strap close to you at this point in time. Okay? Let's have our right shin bone, or rather your right knee, stacking on top of your left. So I'm going to bend my left knee first and have the left knee just tracking forward and your right knee stacking on top of your left knee if possible. And if this is challenging, sometimes sitting up a block or sitting up on top of a block, that may be helpful. Just elevate the hips so that the knees and the hips they feel a little bit more comfortable. And if that's not possible for you at all, does not matter, then you just need to split your knees a little bit looser. So you're sitting and making sure that you have both sit bones down onto the mat, okay? So I'm going to take the Gomukhasana version where your knee is on top of knee, so right on top of left. Now let's have a belt so you can loosen up your belt. And I'm going to take the belt in my left hand, so I'm just going to have the belt just right next to me first. So now I'm going to start up my right arm, and my right arm is going out towards the right side of the room. So let's roll the arm bone inwards and downwards. So the eye of the elbow, the elbow crease is facing towards the back of the room, back of your mat. Let's bend the elbow behind you and then start to reach your fingers up towards the back of your head. So you might not be able to see me now, but my palm is facing away from me. And now I'm going to start to grab the belt that is right next to my left hand. Take it overhead, bend the elbow, drop the belt behind you, and then see whether you're able to use your bottom fingers to grab the belt as well. And some of you might be lucky enough to be able to grab the belt behind you. So from the back, you probably look something like that, okay? So your arm is on top, and then your elbow is bent. So you're gonna look something like that if you're right behind. So if you're able to grab the fingers, if you're able to connect the fingers, then you don't need the belt at all, okay? So let's all stay here and take a couple of full breaths, just in and out through your nose. And you want to be able to feel that your spine is still upright. So your arm, your top arm, in this case your left arm, is not pushing the back of your head down. So try to look forward and then try to sit up really, really tall and maybe just close your eyes here and take a few full breaths. So you feel your spine reaching up to the ceiling and you can feel a stretch right up your left tricep. You can feel a stretch down towards your right deltoid muscle. So that also, it just helps to loosen up the shoulder area. So you can choose to stay here or with your next inhalation, pull your spine up a little bit more. Make sure both sit bones stay down. And as you exhale, if you like to, you can start to go forward, 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 and take your time to inch your spine forward. So try not to let the top arm push your head down towards the mat. So continue to reach the crown of your head forward. And imagine you're not wanting to crease up the front of your shirt at all. So reaching the spine forward. Take another big breath here. And then exhale completely. 
Next inhale, breath. Let's slowly lift ourselves. Bring the body upright, releasing the arms. And you might want to shrug out the shoulders, shrug out the neck, just tilt the head side to side. Okay, and then once you're done, let's stretch out the legs. So let's have the legs coming in front of you again. Just pat up the legs and let's go to the other side. So left knee on top of your right knee. So I'm going to start to bend my bottom knee, which is my right knee first. And then stepping the left knee or the left foot across. So I have knee on top of knee. So remember, the block could be useful for you to sit up a little bit higher. Or you can just split the knees and if this still doesn't work, then just have the foot directly in front of the other. It's fine, okay? And now let's move the belt over towards your right side. Okay, just get it ready for the right arm later. Let's work on the left arm first. So roll the shoulder in. So the crease of the elbow is facing away from me. Bend the elbow behind you and reach your fingers up, up, up your back in between the shoulder blades. Now let's start to take the belt if you know you need one. So your right arm is going up towards the ceiling, dropping the belt behind you by bending your elbows. Either you connect using the belt, or maybe you're able to connect using your fingers. So you have your fingers really tightly bound together behind you and stay here. So you want to make sure that they're not twisting anywhere left or right. So you want to be kind of like facing forward. So you want to imagine your forehead, like the center of your forehead, your nose tip, your sternum bone, and your belly button, your pubic bone. They all kind of line up in a straight line down the center of your body. So you can either choose to stay here and just enjoy the stretch, right tricep, left deltoid, okay? Or if you like to, you can start to inhale to lift the chest up a little bit more. And then as you exhale, let's slowly, 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 you're going to sort of inch your spine forward and try to have your right arm independent of the back of your head. And just staying here, reaching your sternum bone forward while you're rooting the buttock bones down at the same time. Take another full breath in. And a full breath out. And on your next inhale breath, let's slowly, slowly lift the body back upright. And as you exhale, let's release the arms and let's release the legs as well. Now let's come on to our hands and knees and then slowly just line up your block directly in front of you. So if you don't have a block, you can do this on the mat as well, but I'm going to show the one with the blocks first. So I'm just going to line up the blocks directly in front of me like so. So it's on the low setting, okay? So you can lower yourself down onto the mat, onto your own belly and onto your front. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to line my elbows on the block. So both elbows will be on the block. And then I'm going to interlace my fingers. I can just put your palms in a prayer position. And all you're trying to do is to fix where the blocks are. It could be narrower than your shoulder distance. It could be wider if your shoulders are feeling a little bit tight. And I'm going to wriggle myself back and away from the block back and away from the block. So from my elbows to the sides of my body, it does not feel that my shoulders are popping up. So I'm going to slowly lower the shoulders down towards the mat. And only at the very last bit, then you can put your head in between your arm bones. So this is option one for you to be very, very close towards the mat. Option two, so for some of our shoulders, maybe a little bit open, a little bit more open. So you can come into a child's pose where your big toes are together and your knees are not too wide apart. So you still have a little bit of gap in between your knees, like a narrow V shape. I will take the blocks closer to me, but at a higher setting this time round. So I do need to measure the distance. I would like my buttocks to be rooted towards the heels. If that does not happen, maybe you take a towel and you can pad up the space in between your buttocks and your heels just to feel that you have some grounding, like the buttocks are pulling back away from your arms. Okay, so I'm just going to wriggle myself back and I'm going to measure the distance now. So elbows on the block and I want to be able to press my chest down towards the mat. So I'm somewhere around here and just be prepared to come on and off the, the block until you find the right distance. So ideally from my buttocks to my elbows, I'm trying to feel a stretch and a nice parallel line with the mat. So you can interlace your fingers or you can have your palms together again. So when I inhale, I push down into the block. And when I exhale, I'm going to start to lower my chest down towards the mat. 
And we're going to stay in this position for maybe another five more full breaths. So you're basically looking down towards the mat and ideally having your ears in line with your biceps. Let's take one more full breath here, feeling the expansion in your ribcage when you're inhaling. And when you exhale, try and dig down into the block so you're able to feel the stretch a little bit more. And then with the next inhalation, slowly release, moving the blocks away from you. So you're going to start to stretch the back of your shoulders, so it's towards the rhomboids. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down onto my front and then onto my belly. Okay, so I come into a sphinx pose first and maybe just stay here for a couple of breaths as you watch what I'm going to do with my shoulders and my arm. So I'm going to thread my right arm towards the left side. So my right arm is somewhat under my chest. I just want to take care not to choke myself. So here what we're trying to do is to try to stretch out the back of your shoulders, especially the muscles very close to the spine. So ideally, I would like to feel that the back of my shoulders are parallel to the mat. So you're going to slowly adjust yourself and maybe your forehead does not touch down to the mat easily and that's fine. So that's when you take your padding, take your cushion and just pull the cushion in to support your forehead. And then I'm going to wriggle my shoulders until I feel like they are in, you know, they are level with the mat. Okay, so you just look something like that. And maybe one more full breath, trying to relax the fingers. So the palm is facing up towards the ceiling. And then slowly let's lift the body upright. Yeah, and then let's change sides. So let's take the left arm over towards the right. So lifting yourself up, lowering the left arm down. You may not be able to see me now because I have a little obstacle right in front of me. And then forehead down towards the blanket or maybe towards the support in front of you. Trying to get the back of the left shoulder to be level with the... <laughs> sorry. Trying to get the back of your left shoulder level with the right shoulder. I'm sorry. Maybe two more full breaths. So as you breathe, you want to feel like the back of your shoulders are expanding like a balloon. And when you exhale, just let the entire body soften down what is just in it. One last full breath here. And then exhale like completely. On the next inhale breath, let's lift yourself to come back up. Okay, and then this is going to be the last now the last exercise I'm going to do, so you're going to find your long towel, you're going to find your belt again, and you're just going to sit up, maybe on the block, maybe on the mat, cross-legged will do. Let's go for a couple of shoulder circles here. You want to make sure that you're not going to be hitting anything around you, especially, you know, your lambs or anything. So let's have the belt, like really, really long first, and make sure the belt is taut. Let's inhale to lift the belt up and overhead. Let's draw the rib cage in as you exhale, look forward as you lower the belt behind you. You may not be able to complete a full circle, but just do what you can. You may need the belt to be a little bit longer if this is really challenging for your shoulders. Yeah, just feel free to take the belt longer, but try not to bend the elbows and try not to throw your rib cage up forward towards me. Those of you who are very, very comfortable with this, then maybe you can narrow the belt and just make sure the belt is still taut as you circle the arms behind you and in front of you and we try to coordinate the movement with our breath so inhale is a lift and as exhale is to lower the back behind you elbows straight the back is taut inhale is a lift again 
And let's exhale, belt in front of you. I can't see the belt, so I'm gonna to try to feel that the belt is level, especially when I lower the belt behind me. Okay, and inhale again to lift up. Exhale to lower. Let's try for a couple more rounds. So maybe by now you feel that your shoulders are able to do a little bit more, you narrow the belt. If it's still feeling a little bit restricted, the shoulders, then just do whatever you can, but make sure you're pulling the belt as you're lifting the belt up and down in front of you and behind you. Okay, take your time. Working with your breath. And make this your last round. Inhale as a lift. And then exhale, allow the belt to come in front of me and releasing the belt to the side. Okay, just shrugging out the shoulders again, shrugging out the arms. Hopefully all of that uh, was able to help you to find a little bit more comfort in your shoulders. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you very, very soon.